I'm here with Chris Arbaca with Azure um, Dynamics. Dynamics. Uh, Chris, can you tell me a little bit about your vehicle and, and how it works? Sure. We uh, integrate the Ford Transit Connect as an all-electric vehicle. Uh, it has a range of 60 to 80 miles, depending upon payload. Uh, it has a top speed of 75 miles an hour. It's really designed for an urban or suburban dense uh, delivery environment, and it really lends itself well to uh, FedEx type of delivery uh, in town, uh, that kind of thing. Sort of a, more of a commercial vehicle than a consumer vehicle, correct? No question. Azure Dynamics is really focused on the commercial vehicle segment. Uh, we really are, are focused on fleets, uh, municipalities, governmental agencies, and, and uh, so we're, we're uh, strictly in the, in the commercial side of things. What are the, some of the things that you, you think that are holding the industry back as far as moving forward for more electrical vehicles like yours? I think a lot of it uh, is infrastructure. Uh, I think uh, there, there needs to be a sense of comfort for folks, both on the business side and the consumer side. Um, I think education. I think just, you know, what, uh, what are the differences between an internal combustion engine vehicle and an electric vehicle, and, and really uh, a level of comfort with uh, what the, the limitations are on an electric vehicle. And once folks do get comfortable, uh, it, it really is a, a terrific solution. What do you think is holding back the advancement of the infrastructure, especially for cities, to put in these charging stations? You know, I think a lot of it is funding. Um, you know, with the economic times that we're in right now, um, folks just don't have the, the revenue streams to, to invest in the infrastructure that we all need. So uh, I, I, my sense is that there's a lot of demand and that there's a lot of willingness to do it. Um, funding is really the key. What about uh, um, working with organizations like the National uh, electrical Contractors Association, who has over 130 contractors just here in this region, working with them to actively go out to businesses and, and encourage businesses to put in charging stations. That's uh, some of what we do. Obviously, with, with our vehicle in the commercial space, uh, I am talking to a lot of, of uh, commercial users, um, private users, and um, that is a good conversation. And I think the electrical contractors group would be a terrific way to get the word out and help spread the message that um, we need more infrastructure. Um, can you tell me what, what are, why are the limitations on the range of the vehicle still there? I mean, how are we going to overcome those limitations? You know, it's, it's really physics and chemistry. I mean, I think that our, our scientists are working very, very hard to uh, bring battery um, technology to the marketplace that will uh, enhance range, uh, make a smaller battery package footprint, and uh, we will get there. It's just a matter of time, and uh, uh, there's a lot of investment behind it and a lot of smart folks working on that technology, so I'm convinced that it will happen. Um, if, if, if someone, a business owner or a, a municipality is interested in your vehicle, how do they get a hold of you? So they can uh, reach me at 209-969-2609, uh, uh, see Abarca at azuredynamics.com is my email. Uh, our web address is azuredynamics.com. So uh, we're partnered with Ford Motor Company. We're electrifying and hybridizing a lot of commercial vehicles, and we'd love to talk to anybody interested.